Let's get going. So starting with your feet together, point your toes out to the corners of the room and align your heels so your feet are directly underneath your hips. Relax your shoulders, bend the knees slightly, and imagine that piece of string really lengthening your body all the way up to the ceiling, shoulders nice and relaxed. From here, pop your hands on your hips and find your neutral position. So we've got A to the front, C to the back, and you're finding that B middle ground. From here, squeeze your glutes and squeeze the thighs. Put one hand on your rib cage, one hand on your tummy, and we're going to take two deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, imagine that resistance band tighten around your tummy each time, in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, resistance band around your tummy. That stays there. So put your hands to the side, take your head out to one side, lower down, chin onto chest and up through the other side. Lower down. Side. And lower down. Over to the side. Now one more. Bring your head back to centre, looking up to the ceiling and down to the floor, chin on to chest. Up to the ceiling and down to the floor. And one more, up to the ceiling, and down to the floor. Keep your chin on your chest, bring your arms round in front of you in that semicircle, and pull them forwards. Exhale as you open up, try and get those arms as far as you can behind, and back in again, into the semicircle. And open up, arms wide, back into the semicircle. We're gonna do it one more time. And open up, arms wide. As we're here with our arms wide, pop your um, feet underneath your hips and we're going to twist the upper body before we go into our shoulder rolls. So keeping the hips where they are at the front, don't move those hips. Make it flow just from side to side. And one more on each side. Coming back to center. Arms down by your sides. Lovely. We're going to go into our shoulder roll. So going backwards first. And three, four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Coming forwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, two more, seven and eight, one arm circles reaching up and over, twisting the upper body, two, follow the arm around with your head, three, and four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight, same arm comes around to the front, twist the torso, and two, three, four, Five, three more, six, seven, last one, eight, arm comes down, lifting the other one up and twisting that torso around. One, two, three, four, five, three more, six, seven, and eight, same arm comes forwards. Still following the arm round with your head. And eight to the front. This is when I lose count again. I'll do three more. Two. And one. Excellent. Okay, we've done our hips to the side, arms to the side. So we're about to lift up one knee, reaching over to the side, and pop your hand down onto that foot or leave them at the knee. So we're doing four on each leg, all in your own time. So that's two, and three, four, five, three more. Really reach that knee up and over. Seven, and on your last one, either hold it down onto the floor with nice straight back and shoulders relaxed, or pop your hands just above your knee and feel that stretch. 
focus on that breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And up and over to the other side. We're going to do one more on each side. So up and over. Last one. Up and over. Bringing that back up again. Feet directly underneath your hips. We're going into our squats. So coming down in front of you, make sure you can lift those toes up off the floor. We're coming up and leg comes out to the side. Try not to hit the wellies on the way. Coming down, up to the other side. Keep that core engaged. And three. Four. Excellent. Five. Three more. And six. Two more. Seven. One more. And eight. Slowing that down. Going into our half roll downs. So feet underneath hips. Shoulders come forward and chin onto chest. Arching the back as much as you can. Up towards the ceiling. Vertebra, vertebra. And stop on your hands. Get to just above your knees. So you're tucking in your chin to your chest. And creating that arch in your back. From there, pull the shoulders back into flat back position. And you might put a nice stretch in the back of your legs. Hold it there. Okay, squeeze the boots, arch the back. Chin goes onto chest, and then vertebrae by vertebrae, you're rolling back up the body and rolling out the shoulders. We're going again. Roll the shoulders forward, chin onto chest. Arching the back as much as you can, up towards the ceiling. And then pull the shoulders back. Nice deep breaths into that flat back position. Okay, again, squeeze the glutes, arching back up, rolling back up the body, nice and slowly. Last thing to come up is your head and roll the shoulders out. We're going one more time, roll forwards, chin on chest. Really focus on tucking in that tummy and arching the back as much as you can up towards the ceiling. Hold it there and pull the shoulders back into that flat back position. Okay, squeeze the glutes, come back up. Again, last thing to come up with your head and roll the shoulders out. We're going down onto our mat. So what I want you to do is feet directly underneath hip. I want you to let gravity take you down. But first of all, I want us to pop one elbow in one hand and one elbow in the other hand. And I want you to just let your body weight hang over your feet and it stretches out the lower back into the bottom and the hamstrings. Always keep those knees slightly bent. Okay, from here, hands come out, walk out onto the floor into prone and lift your bottom up into the air, stretching out those calves and trying to get the heels to touch the floor behind you. Deep breathing and start pulsing those legs, driving those knees down towards the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Toes come in towards you, heels out to the corners of the room. And five, four, three, two, one. One, heels come in towards you, toes come out to the corners of the room. Keep them pulsing. And five, four, three, two, one. Back to center. And hold back. See if you can get your heels down to the floor a little bit further. And then without wobbling from side to side, Walk your hands back towards your toes and slowly roll up the body. Head comes up, shoulders roll out. Okay, down into prone, eight leg lifts. 
and then come back up again. So roll back up the body. Make the most of the stretch as you're coming down and back up again. Hands underneath shoulders, bottom down. Eight leg lifts in your own time. Six, seven, and eight. So you're coming back into that calf stretch, walking your hands back towards your feet, and then slowly rolling up the body, rolling those shoulders out. Okay, warm up is complete. We've got some different things going on tonight. So we are going to do one minute on, 30 seconds off. Let's find the right music. Here we go. The first exercise we are going to do is uh, prone climbers into a press up. So we're in prone, hands underneath shoulders. We are going to do out to the side and down out to the side and down, drop the knees, and you're going into a push-up. Coming back up, out to the side and down, out to the side and down, drop the knees, elbows tucked in, into a push-up, okay? Nice and slowly, keep the elbows tucked in on that push-up. I'll tell you when to go. So, hands onto the shoulders, extend the leg, Deep breathing. Three, two, one. So out to the side and down. Out to the side and down. Drop the knees into a push up. Coming back into prone. So all in your own time. Dropping those knees. Keep that core engaged. Excellent. Nice and controlled. Dropping those knees, elbows tucked in, bring that body weight forwards and push back up again. Over halfway, dropping the knees. And keep breathing on that push up. So exhale as you go down, inhale when you're there, exhale on the way back up. Just making most of all of those movements, really working that core. Three, two, and one. Woo. That's a tough one. Okay, we're gonna do one of those, and we're gonna come back to some of them as well. So the next one, we are going to use a weight. So I'm gonna use a dumbbell for this one. I'm just gonna pop the screen down a little bit so you can actually see me sorry about the mess we're having our conservatory done and everything's just in the way of everything so we are going into tabletop weight is above head we're going to do that tricep movement with the weight so you're not moving your elbows you're just dropping down that weight behind your head as you come back up to the ceiling you're extending both legs out in front into tabletop tricep move coming back up to ceiling extend both legs and back into tabletop okay so we do two lots of these take that tricep and move really slowly behind your head find your neutral position weight to ceiling make sure your knees aren't too close to your chest and pop on your hand out if you need to check i'll tell you when to go four three two one, so drop it behind, slowly come back up, both legs extend and come back in again. Lovely, keep it going to the ceiling, extend, drop it down to the ceiling, extend the legs. It's a core killer, this one. Keep breathing. You're over halfway. Excellent control. And extend. Nearly there. Three, two, and one. 
Lower that down, bring your knees into chest if you need to. We're gonna do that one more time. If, it, if you're finding it difficult with the leg extensions, what you could do is do one leg and then the other leg, okay? You don't have to do them both at the same time. So still drop that weight behind your head, come back up, extend one leg, back to tabletop, extend the other leg, okay? That's if you're finding it quite a lot of work in your core or any lower back pain, do one, then the other. Off you go, one more minute. Above the head. Extend, extend, and back. And drop that weight down, nice and controlled. Use that core. Extend, extend. You might want to do 30 seconds of both legs and then 30 seconds of alternate legs. Completely up to you. You're over halfway. Keep it focused, keep concentrating. Lovely, keep it flowing. Three, two, and one. Lower that weight down. Okay, your next one, we are on our feet. And you're going to need your dumbbells for this one, okay? If you don't, that's fine. So we are doing, get some space, need some space for this one. So weights in hand, your arms are in a W to the sides, okay? Keep those elbows up. I might go out of um, reach for a second. So from here, you're going to do a lunge, curtsy lunge, and back up. Curtsy lunge and back up again. Make sure those elbows don't drop. So make sure your weights are quite light, okay? One minute on one leg, one minute on the other leg. So let's get ready to go. Let's give it a second. Oh boy, don't want any arms to hurt too early. Okay, so pick a leg. Wait for her to say, get ready. Get ready. Okay. Right, elbows up, posture, core engaged. Off we go, so lunging down and coming back up. Engage that core, coming down, back up standing, squeeze the glutes and down, back up to standing. Lovely, slow and controlled. Have that focus spot on the wall or on the floor help you stop wobbling. Don't let those elbows drop. Keep them nice and high in alignment. And keep breathing. You've got less than 30 seconds left. Turn down. Coming up, squeeze those glutes. And squeeze. Lovely. Keep it going. Three, two, and one. Grab a drink if you need to. It's actually quite warm outside. More than I thought it was today. Okay, next leg. Find that one always gets the heart rate going a bit more than you think it does. Right, let's wait for them to get ready. Elbows are coming up. We're using the other leg. Three, two, one. It's coming down and back up to stand and squeeze the glutes down. Coming up and squeeze those glutes. Keep breathing. Again, focus spot. Keep that core engaged. really easy when you're concentrating to stop breathing. So make sure you're focused on the in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nearly there. Toughy this one. On the floor after this. <laughs> and squeeze. 
Nearly there. Don't let those elbows drop. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, that was hard. Okay. We are on the floor and we're in box position. Hands are underneath shoulders. Come, oh, well, put your hands underneath your shoulders, sorry, and then lean slightly back. You're going to tuck your toes under, but make sure your hands are spread wide for stability. Tucking the toes under, you're coming up into a prone. Bottom's gonna to go to the ceiling. You're then coming back into prone and then into that box position where your knees are hovering, okay? So box, prone, to the ceiling, prone, box, okay? If you, if you forget the flow and the rhythm, it's fine. Just think to yourself, prone, box, bottom to the ceiling, prone, box again. Drop your knees at any point if you need to have a rest, okay? This is a lot of concentration and control, but it'll be fine. Keep the core engaged. I guarantee I'll forget the rhythm at some point. Guaranteed. Okay, let's get ready to go. One leg, oh no, not one leg extended. See, I told you I forget already. Tuck the toes in. Okay, coming up into that box. Forward into prone. Bottom to ceiling. Into prone. Lower the knees, not onto the floor, just above the floor. Into the prone. Up to the ceiling. Into prone, bottom down. Then on the knees, in box. So prone. To the ceiling. So prone. And box. Nice and slowly. Again, lots of concentration to the ceiling, to prone, to a box. Breathing. Three, two, and one. Complicated, doesn't it? So just um, psych out the wrists. I know a minute is quite a long time with these ones. I was having a think actually about changing to 45 seconds and having um, 15 seconds off. But we'll have to go maybe next week. Okay, ready? Off we go. So box, to prone, to the ceiling, to prone. To box, to prone, to the ceiling, to prone, to box, to prone, up to the ceiling, to prone. Keep it going, keep it fluid. We've got 30 seconds left. Keep it going, nearly there. Keep breathing, you're doing so well. Three, two, and one. Okay, circle out the wrists if you need to. But things like this, um, a lot of people do say, oh, that really, really hurt my wrist. You're actually strengthening them at the same time. Um, really beneficial, especially um, when it comes to things like osteoporosis, anything that strengthens the muscles around the joints, it's very good for you. Right, we are on our feet next. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to use a weight. Don't have to use them if you don't want to. We are weight to chest. We're going to squat down, come back up again, shoulder press, come down again, toes, and down. So squat, coming up, shoulder press, down, toes, down. 
I'm going to move the um, screen a little bit. <laughs> Can't get it right today. There we go. Right. So keep those weights close to your chest. Elbows tucked in. Core engaged. Feet underneath hips. Squeeze those glutes as you come back up standing. Four, three, two, one. Coming down into the squat. Pushing up. Squeeze the glutes. Shoulder press. Down to chest. Coming up on the toes. And lower back down. So a bit of balance in this one as well. And again, concentration. Lots of different movements going on. Very good for our brain. <laughs> Coming back up, shoulder press, toes, and breathe, over halfway, and shoulder press. See that weight, close to your chest, focus on your posture. And the lateral breathing, breathing from your diaphragm. Lovely, keep it going. Three, two, and one. Pop those weights down. We're going to do that one again. 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds now. Oh, okay. God, the amount of squats I've done this week. I don't know if my legs can take anymore. Don't see what we're doing after this. Ah, uh, we're in, we're in, um, we're doing some tabletop work after this, so that's fine. Okay, three, two, one, off we go. And coming up to the ceiling, on the toes, and down. Hold it, challenge yourself, pushing up. Squeeze those glutes into that shoulder press. Coming up, and down, push through. Control those movements. You're working every part of your body in this exercise. Try and make it fluid. These last 25 seconds. And down. Excellent. Keep it going. Coming up. And the breath. Nearly there. Three, two, and one. Pop that down. Okay, we are on our mats. We are on, we are in tabletop. Let's just pause this a second. Right, and arms are coming wide by your side. We are dropping down and then coming up over and dropping down over to the other side. So working our obliques. They're like window wipers, aren't they? So knees drop down to a point where you think that's enough, coming back over to the other side. So on your mat, find your neutral position. So tilt the pelvis in towards your mat, up to the ceiling. You're still finding that feet neutral position as you're lying down. Arms come out to the side for stability. Make sure that your knees aren't too close to your chest. Three, two, one. So they're dropping down. On to the side and coming up and drop down to the other side, coming up. So, all in your own time, you're in control of these movements. And breathe. And keep it going. And breathing. Three, two, and one. Okay, same with that oblique movement we are now going to have our legs 
up to the ceiling, slightly wider apart, so they're in a V shape, okay? What you're going to do is come up over to one side, reaching out, coming back down again. But if you want to make it more difficult for yourself, don't put your head back down again. So you're reaching over, back to center, crunching up and over, back to center, crunching up and over. What you might find is that your legs start to do this. <laughs> That's completely normal as well. But if you need to pop your head down after each movement from side to side, that's absolutely fine. So we're still concentrating on our obliques. Again, find that neutral position. If it helps, you can put your parts of your hands together and then reach over to the side, okay? So legs in the V. Arms out to the ceiling, palms together. Four, three, two, one. So we're crunching up the side. Hold it for a couple of seconds. Coming back to center. Over to the other side. Back to center. Over to the other side. Really reach on each side. And breathe. The legs start to wobble, just drop the knees slightly, so ever so slightly bend those knees. It is a flexibility thing. Over halfway. And down. Over, really reach to the side, focus on those head knees, crunching. In a good crunch. Four, three, two, one. Uh, hug the knees if you need to. Grab a drink. Pause music. Oh, right. We are going to go onto our sides and we're going to work the glutes. So one knee is bent. Um, your elbows underneath your shoulder and you're going to come up into like a side plank position but we're going to do little leg pulses now what you'll find is a minute is slightly too long so we're going to do 30 seconds of pulses and then we're going to leave the leg there for 30 seconds and i will tell you when 30 seconds is up so bend that bottom knee elbow underneath shoulder Extend the top leg. To the side. Hands goes wherever you like on the hip. Up to the ceiling, completely up to you. Okay, three, two, one. Lift back the hip, and you're doing little leg pulses. Now, it will hurt this static glute here. If 30 seconds is too much, have a rest. And keep breathing. Excellent, keep it going. Over halfway and hold. It's really hard <laughs> when your legs are tired to hold this position. Come on, keep breathing. Last 10. Four, three, two, one. Oh, drop it down. Ooh, I always forget how, um, <laughs> how tough those are. Going to the other side. So pulses, 30 seconds, and then hold it there. And like me, then my leg just dropped and dropped and dropped. But the idea is we're trying to keep it up high. So leg bent, elbow underneath shoulder. Ready. Get ready to go. Hopefully this side will be slightly better than the other side. This glute is now sore. <laughs> Three, two, one. Coming up. Really little. Pulses. You can bend the knee as well. What I find is that I'm not flexible enough to keep my leg bent for that longer period of time. You still get the same effect if your knee is slightly bent. Really there. Woo. 
Keep it going. Halfway there and hold. Keep breathing. Excellent. Keep focus. Keep focus. You're nearly there. Lift that hip up. Woo. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Oh, lower that down. Bottoms might be a bit sore tomorrow. Okay. Try and think. What should we? What shall we do next? Sometimes I'm quite mean of with, with what comes next. Right. Let's do some rainbows. Hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. We're extending the leg. Come and go from one side over to the other side. We're really focusing on working those glutes, okay? Then we're going to go onto our sides again. So hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Engage the core. We're still thinking about posture. Shoulders are pulled back. We're not all stretched up like this. Shoulders are relaxed. Back is flat. Extend the legs. And we'll undo our rainbows. And to the side. And look at that foot each time. Bit of added mobility. Excellent. Fluid. Nearly there. Over halfway. Keep looking from side to side. Oh, keep it going. I know. Glutes are burning. Four, three. Two and one. Woo. Send the other one and wiggle. Okay. We're on our sides after this one, doing some more oblique work. Grab a drink if you need to. Hands are underneath shoulders, knees are underneath hips. Get ready by extending the other leg out behind. We're going to lift that. Four, three, Two, one, lifting up, over to the side, and over to the other side. Again, focus on the breath. We're going to do something different after these um, oblique crunches on our feet. We haven't done these before. Over halfway. Keep that core engaged. Nearly there. Oh, it's when it starts to burn. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, okay. Right, we've done these before. Optional weights with these ones. You're lying out on your mat, so your head is lying on your arm. We're lifting both legs, and with the weight, if you want to, you can have it in this hand, and you're coming up, reaching towards that toe, hold it, and then come slowly back down again. If you've got light weights, it's, um, it just adds some extra for your obliques to work with, okay? But any wobbling, I'd say pop them down. So we're gonna do one minute on one side, one minute on the other side. Again, if you have that curve in your spine, bring your legs slightly forward. So I always have my legs slightly forward. I'm going to squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thighs and lift both of the legs off the floor. I'm gonna have a go with my weight, but I don't know if I'm gonna last very long. <laughs> it's, it's a bit heavy, so I'm gonna keep it up here. Whereas if you have a lighter weight, you'll be able to bring it over your head. Three, two, one. Lifting those legs, reaching forwards. 
hold it, and then slowly back down, reaching up and hold. Try not to point your toe in case you get cramped with this one. And up and reach and slowly lower down, reaching up, hold, slowly lower down, over halfway, up and hold, and slowly lower down, keep breathing, exhale, come up and down. Up. And so you down. Four, three, two, and one. Over onto the other side. So feel those obliques tomorrow. Okay. So get yourself comfortable on the side. Um, head on the resting arm. Weight in your hand if you want to use a weight. And get ready in four, three, two, one. Lifting the feet off the floor and reaching up towards that foot. And lower slowly back down. Engage that core, lifting up. And then slowly lift up. Obviously, the longer you hold that crunch for, the more you're working those obliques. And slowly down. Up. Down, nearly there. Exhale, up. Hold it, slowly down. Great control, guys. And up. Hold. Keep those feet lifted off the floor. So close. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. We're going to do something different with our squats. So, this is a lot of balance and coordination as well. So, as we get older, our balance and coordination goes out the window. So, doing really simple things every day will help keep that balance and coordination going, especially with your brain. So we're going to do a squat. And as we come up, we're touching the foot with our hand. So we're coming down front, toe touch, down front, toe touch, down in front, toe touch. Now, as you go into that toe touch, you'll automatically stop engaging your core. So every time you go down, I want you to think, right, core engagement as I come up, hold it, hold it, and go into that toe touch, okay? I'm gonna do one minute, see how we're feeling. Okay. Get ready to go. So you can have your feet slightly wider and hip width apart for these ones, shoulders nice and relaxed. We're gonna try and maintain our posture going over. So we're not hunching over like this. Your shoulders are still back, okay? So four, three, two, one. Coming down into the squat, hold it, engage your core. Come up, touch the toe, and down. And squat. Try and let it flow, it's a bit wobbly. One side will be better than the other side. Again, have that focus spot on the wall. And keep the breathing. Excellent. So anything one legged gets a bit more uncomfortable and we end up not managing to do it as well as we used to. So doing things like this and even standing on one leg. I know Mum does that in some of her classes, standing on one leg. And some of my ladies do it as they're brushing their teeth. Practice with the eyes closed. Three, two, and one. Okay, have a rest. We're going to do that again, but we're going to add a full. Let's pause that a second. 
So we are going to hold the ball in our hands, squeeze it together with your hands, coming down into that squat and touch. Squeeze the ball with your hands and touch, but keep your core engaged. So we're working on our arms as well with that squeeze of the ball between the hands. Okay, so feet are slightly wider than hip width apart. Shoulders relaxed. Four engaged. Get ready to go. Four, three, two, one. So coming down, squeeze together, coming up, touch the toe. Keep the core engaged, balance and focus. And down. So something extra to have to concentrate on is squeezing the ball or the palms of your hands together. And breathing and everything else at the same time, like being able to lift your toes off the floor when you're squatting. Nearly there. You're doing so well. Keep it going. On the floor after this. Down. Got long. Knees together. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. We are on the floor. Pause. Right. So we are on our mat. Hands are by your sides and your elbows are tucked in. From here, you're going to lift your feet off the floor and you're going to lower your back, yourself back slowly to a comfortable position and bring your legs in towards you again. So lower down, coming up, lower down, coming up. Alternatively, lean back slightly on your hands and you can do alternate legs. Any lower back pain, just come back down with your head on the floor and you can do alternate kicks, okay? But keep those hands tucked in beside you. Okay, feet are roughly hip width apart, knees are roughly hip width um, apart. You're leaning slightly backwards and wait to just lift those knees. And I'll tell you when. Four, three, two, one. So you're extending, coming up. Exhale, extend, and slowly come up. Now, a minute is a long time. Is there any point you can have a rest? That's fine. If you want to challenge yourself a bit further, see if you can have your arms out in front of you and go down and come up. You can do one or two, see how it feels, and then put your hands down again. 30 seconds left. Coming up. You keep concentrating, have a rest at any point. You can always go to these if you need to. The tough one, this one. Three, two, uh, and one, hug your knees. Okay, we're still in this position, but we're going to bring a weight, helping to find a weight. So we are going back, tilt, and lower down. One arm has a weight in, the other one doesn't have a weight in. As you pull back, you're going to extend your leg and you're coming back up again. Extend the leg and come back up again, okay? So only one side of your body is actually working. So we're gonna tire out this side and then work this side. This leg stays on the floor, one leg comes up, extend, pull back, come back up again, extend, pull back, and come back up again, okay? At any point, have, have a rest. Especially if you've got a heavy weight. So, it's almost like the back tilt lower. Shoulders nice and relax, sitting up tall. You decide that you want to use first. 
and then we're going to end up going back. I'll tell you when to tilt. <laughs> okay, four, three, two, one. So we're tilting and we're extending the leg, holding on back and coming back up. Extend, coming up. Extend, coming up. Extend. And again, have a rest at any point if you need to. Um, ooh, nothing. <laughs> That's my hip flexors or anything. Hips down. Come up. So nice and controlled. If you end up starting to rush it, have a rest and then come back to it. The last one. This one, and then we'll do the other side, and then we'll have a cool down. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. We might have some sore obliques tomorrow. So we're going to work the other side. So we're changing arms. One arm might be stronger than the other arm, so take regular rest if you need to. Feet about hip width apart, sitting up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed. Pick up that weight, other hand this time. Get ready to go. Four, three, two, one. So we're going fast. Look at the pelvis, lower down, lift that leg, extend. Coming up. Extend. Pull back. Coming up. Excellent. Extend. Pull back. Come up. Hand release. Exhale. And come back up. One side always feels slightly more natural than the other side. And I think maybe if you're left left handed, then this your left side is fine. And if you're right handed, your right side is fine. Nearly there. Lots of cool work tonight. Last twenty seconds. Keep breathing, have a rest if you need to. <laughs> My hip flexors is <laughs> Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Okay, that was the last one. We're going to have a cool down now for 10 minutes. So drop those weights down. I want you to lie on your mat and I want you to create as much distance between your toes and your fingers as you can. Let's put some. Lovely rainwater music on. If it plays. Okay, so lying down on your mats, arms stretched out behind you, stretch out the abdominals as well as the hair. Okay. Let's start with the glutes. We're gonna bend the knees, pop one foot onto the knee and bring that in towards you. I want you to focus on your lateral breathing. So in through the nose, through your diaphragm and out through the mouth. And switch over to the other side and move twice through. And drop that down, drop down the other one. And last one, pick up the hands. Okay, pop that down, extend one leg up to the ceiling and flex that foot down towards you. Cool. 
pull the knee in towards your chest and back up to the ceiling with that flex foot. One more, knee into chest and extend up. Lay that down, pick up behind the other one. Again, flex that foot down towards you. Knee into chest. And back up to the ceiling. And last one, knee into chest. And back up to the ceiling. Okay, lower that down to the floor. I want you to come onto your front. Hands either side and push up into that lower back stretch. Squeeze the glutes to enhance the stretch. And you can gently rock that pelvis from side to side if you're feeling super bendy. Okay, lifting the bottom up and then sit back, open the knees slightly and really reach forward as you sat back in the stretch. Okay, squeeze the glutes as you come into all fours, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. You're arching your back up towards the ceiling. Chin on to chest. And lowering back down again, bring the head up. In your own time. Squeeze the glutes, lifting up. Feel that spine mobilizing as you're peeling up slowly towards the ceiling. Okay, and as you finish the last lift up, you need to come up onto your knees. One leg out in front of you in a right angle, hands come onto your hips. You're tilting your pelvis forwards and feeling that stretch in your quad and your thigh. Keep your shoulders nice and back and relaxed. Put one hand onto the inside of your knee, push out and reach behind with your other arm. And bring that back in, switch to the other leg, hands on your hips and tilt the pelvis forwards. One hand on the inside of your knee and reach out behind. And coming back down to all fours, tuck your toes under and you're pushing up into the calf stretch. And then when you're ready, walk your hands back towards your feet, tuck your toes and then slowly come back up to standing. Rolling out the shoulders, just going to stretch out the shoulders, so bringing your arms around in that same circle in front of you. Chin on the chest, stretching up the traps, and then open it up. Hold it there, do one more in. 
exhale and open up and arms by your sides. So we need to take the head out to the center, down, chin onto chest. So we do a couple of times through. Just release that tension in the neck and the shoulders. And coming back to center, put one hand in your, on your tummy, one hand in the rib cage, and we're gonna do two deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And one more. In through the nose and 